going down. It enters the device. There's a steel boom that directs the flow off to the side, down through these strings, up the other side, back across, and then down the pipe. Over time, pollution will build up in here, and when it reaches about here, it's time to give it a clean. The beauty about this particular screen is that during a storm event, things might you know, block on the screen with the flow, but because there's no horizontals after the storm event and the pressure comes off, the stuff just slides down the screen, sinks to the bottom, and frees up all the area ready for the next storm. It's a low hydraulic impact this particular GPT, so it's guaranteed not to cause any flooding. Um, you've already got one of them down the road here. This is the next one, and I think this sort of completes the puzzle of all the catchments from the main part of town. Um, that's about it. What else can I tell you? It's designed to take out high levels of silts and sediment. It'll trap every cigarette butt, every pet bottle, every shopping bag, every syringe, whatever's coming down the line going to be diverted in and stored in that, in that large chamber at the bottom there. In high flow events, the stainless steel weir or boom is designed to actually lift and instead of a normal um, GPT with a fixed weir where the flow goes over the top where you lose the floatables, this one doesn't. It actually floats and rises. So even in high flow events, it will still trap the floatables. Um, it's a very good device. Hopefully if all goes well, we should be out of here by about Australia Day. So um, with that, thank you for coming. Any questions? Go for it. No, the whole boom will rise and let all the water through. So it can't flood anyone back up in the city. And even if it could, if something went wrong inside the device, it would surcharge in the grates in the park and then the grates in the road here and it wouldn't get back up into the city. So from a flooding point of view, it's a very good choice. It'll be a very good solution. Are they still trapped in a flood event? Yeah, so the flo as the boom rises, the floatables will continue to be caught, but the neutrally buoyant stuff will go under the boom. In a normal trap, the weir is at the bottom and the floatables would go over. Um, it's just a different way of achieving the same thing. Great, yeah. yeah. All the small and medium events will be going through the device, which should be in the order of 90 to 95% of the water by volume. So we should catch 90 to 95% of the pollution. And in fact, even more, including like the first flush and stuff.